now the latest on September 22nd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Several systems are active around the world at this point. Tapa is the strongest of which, which has been just declared as a typhoon by the JMA. Elsewhere we have five other tropical cyclones, four of which are at tropical storm intensity. The Atlantic, day 113, Jerry is a tropical storm, could become a hurricane again as it moves towards the north, 99L also existing near the Windward Islands, Humberto, the remnants still lingering, day 130 in the eastern Pacific, Lorena, Mario and Kiko all still active at this point. In the western Pacific, Typhoon Tapa is moving towards the Korean Peninsula, Invest 90W still alive and Tropical Depression at 96A in the Arabian Sea. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. Well, Typhoon Tapa has winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure of 970 millibars. It's just off the uh, southwestern part of the main Japanese islands. It is 204 miles from Kagoshima, 30.7 degrees north, 127.3 degrees east. This typhoon could deliver large amounts of rain over the area, particularly along the coast of South Korea. It's always had a large wind field and that remains the case at this point. A very broad system indeed and significant rains are already falling over some of these areas. It will move across Japan post-tropical cyclone by the middle of the week and off the screen by the time we reach Thursday. Tropical storm Jerry. 65 miles per hour at this point, 1,002 millibars. Not heard that much about Jerry recently because it has weakened. It was a hurricane yesterday and the day before. 284 miles from San Juan, Puerto Rico, 22.5 north, 66.5 degrees west. So Jerry is going to curve towards the north eventually. Uh, will probably become a hurricane again by the time we enter the uh, working week and then it will um, move off towards the northeast eventually and Bermuda should be watching out for possibly another hurricane impact from Jerry as well after Humberto last week. This is what the wind shear is looking like over Jerry right now. As you can see um, it's been doing a bit of a number on the uh, storm in recent hours and it's got a partially exposed center of circulation. The convection sort of moving back over it just a little bit as wind shear starts to get a little bit more favorable again. So it could make another little run here now and get to back towards hurricane status. So watch the next 24 hours on Jerry. This is also the wind shear graphic for Typhoon Tapa. Um, as you can see, very broad system. It's a sort of sort of got an eye. Um, I think we can define it as one. It's a very large, um, what would be eye there, and very fractured eye one. That wind shear is not going to help it at all as it continues off towards the northeast. It will start to decay quite se severely very soon. Wind shear is 60 knots near the South Korean coast. The uh, open ocean of the North Atlantic then looks like this. You can see Invest 99L near the bottom there as well, near the Windward Islands. Off towards the east, you can see that area of interest just about to emerge off the coast of Africa, far away to the right-hand side of the screen. That will most likely be our next tropical cyclone if 99L doesn't. And this is the Gulf of Mexico, looking fairly quiet at this point. A few thunderstorms blowing up across the Yucatan. The East Pacific looking like this, it's starting to look a little bit like a graveyard again. You can see two empty shells of tropical cyclones, Mario looking the worst out of them, and uh, Kiko barely battling on, although models still think they could survive maybe another week yet as a depression or, um, or higher. The Western Pacific looking like this, I should have mentioned Lorena then as well in the Eastern Pacific, that's still affecting the Gulf of California coasts. Uh, this is the Western Pacific, the only one that's been designated apart from the Tapa is 90W, um, and it's not looking so good there, it's in the Philippine Sea, it's that area of just uh, bubbling up clouds, and Tapa is quite clearly visible. The Australia and South Pacific region looking like this, um, a few fl uh, flare-ups there, well to the north of Fiji. Um, and a few thunderstorms blowing up across Papua New Guinea, but nothing really to hint at tropical cyclone development. The Indian Ocean, 96A, uh, interesting on the left hand side there into the Arabian Sea, that could become a tropical cyclone soon, sort of is already, we're giving it tropical depression status at this point. 
Sea surface temperatures look like this around the globe. Uh, the eastern Pacific, very warm along the coast of Mexico. That Gulf of California we're looking at again, 30 degrees or more. So the rain has got that in its favor if it stays over water for long enough. The uh, Atlantic Ocean, uh, a cool area to the northeast of the Bahamas, mainly caused by Dorian and Alberto, but 28 degrees generally across the board really for the tropical region. The North Indian Ocean looking decent, um, 96A will start to struggle as, as it gets near to Oman if it does so. Temperatures will drop below 26 degrees as it reaches the coast. The Indian Ocean looking fine, the Western Pacific very warm, 28 degrees getting towards 30 east of the Mariana Islands. Alright, well, this is the latest imagery of Tropical Storm Lorena at this point. We had a question earlier on Twitter as to whether uh, we might see Tropical Storm warnings in effect for Arizona for the first time ever. Even if it does trek all the way up that gulf, it probably won't happen. It didn't happen with Newton and it didn't happen with another storm that's just escaped me that happened uh, a deal the remnants of a deal in 2014. Uh, this is a look at Jerry um, there you can see it slowly moving towards the west northwest or maybe towards the northwest um, partially exposed but I think that convection will start to come back again and it might have another crack as I said before of hurricane status um, rainfall staying offshore that's good and this is the latest imagery of Typhoon Tapa which is continuing towards the northeast swirling around their first visible image uh, significant amounts of rainfall likely to fall over Japan this the Kyushu Island in particular very soon and also for South Korea which is already getting some bans from the storm possibly delivering significant amounts of rain at this point all right well this is what we're looking at right now the next names on the list in the Atlantic it's going to be Karen in the Eastern Pacific we're looking out for Nada the Central Pacific will have its next name Ima in the Western Pacific the next name on the list here is Mitag and in the North Indian Ocean we're looking out for Hika we could be about to see it you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name, Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can comment on any of our platforms. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin, as long as there's no other storm updates, tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.